Hey and welcome to designgibocover.com I am going to teach you today how to create a 3D card using Photoshop. You can use this package for both business card or membership card. So let's start by opening card 1 PSD file. This is the 3D layout that you are going to see inside of Photoshop. And on the right side you can see the layers panel. The only layer that you are going to edit in all the 15 cards layout is the font layer. This layer using the Smart Object function. To open it, press twice on the icon that on the left side of the layer. As you can see, Photoshop has opened us a new window, a flat window of the 3D layout. Any changes that we are going to make on this window will take effect on the 3D layout after we will save it. I will show you now what each one of the layer does. This is the company name. This is the slogan. The top circle is the background of the company in the slogan. This is your name, your email, phone, address line, and your website. Below is the background of the website and the address line. This is just a nice gradient that you have on the background. And this is the background. If there is a layer that you want to hide from the layout, all you have to do is to press on the hide that's on the left side of the layer. You can do the same to all the layers. All the layers that have a T icon on the left side are text layer. To change them, press twice on the T that's on the left side and put your new text. When you're done, press on the V that's on the top window to approve that. You can do the same to all the text layers. If you want to change the color of the text, the text layer needs to be selected. Then select the type tool and on the top window you will see a color box. Press on that once and choose the new color that you want. You can change the color of all the layers that have a color box on the left side by pressing twice on the color box and choose the color that you want. And you can change each one of the other layers the same way. And this is it. If you want to add a picture or something to this layout, you can do that as well. Now all you have to do is to save the file. You can do it by going to File and choose Save. And when you go back to the 3D window, you will see all the changes that you made on the flat layout affected the 3D layout. If there is something that you don't like on the design, you can always go back to the smart object and change it again. Press twice on the smart object, make the changes that you want, and remember after you make the changes, you have to save it. This is it. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed this video.